Shalom. <laughs> Tamiris here, if you don't recognize me. Um, and I'm not totally going gimmicky and costumey from now on. I actually just happened to be trying this on because I'm working on making a costume um, because I am blessed to get to take part in being an extra on uh, a TV show in which this is the kind of outfits you wear. And I was talking to somebody about this experience that I get to do uh, next month. And I was <laughs> explaining that uh, it's kind of like God took a checklist and he was like, here are all the things you need to work on. All the things that you don't have patience for, all the things that you find difficult, all the things that you, you really need to work on. Here's this checklist and in this experience, da, 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 we're gonna be marking off a lot of those. Waiting in lines and um, oh, waiting patiently in general. Very difficult, very difficult. Um, uh, having my hair covered, my favorite <laughs> aspect of myself, it needs to be covered. Um, I'll be dressed kind of, um, my, my daughter just saw me and she goes, you know you look really bulky, right? Like really bulky. It's like, hmm, thanks. <laughs> It'll be a really long day. I'll probably have to get up at 4 a.m. and drive a rental car in a place I don't know in the dark. I don't like any of those things. Um, lots and lots of things, just lots of things, but it's gonna be an experience. And so my friend kept saying, why are you doing this? And I was like, A, cause it's an experience and B, cause these are all things I need to work on. We all have different experiences in life that help us grow and help us teach us things. And I just got off the phone with someone that I was laughing so hard. They said they called somebody earlier today and they said, you gotta help me. I, I, uh, I was just told I'm not a Christian and that, that, that I have a evil, hateful heart. And they said, who told you that? And she goes, I did, I told myself that because I feel like I'm not a Christian and I feel like I have a hateful heart. And uh, I thought it was really funny. And they went on to say all these things that were frustrating in them and making them really angry today. And one of them was the fact that they'd been screaming at their phone all day because they couldn't hear it. They hadn't heard it ring or send text alerts or any of these things. And they just now realized that they had hit the mute button on the side of the phone in church on Sunday. Today is Thursday. They've been mad at their phone since Sunday when they put it on mute. They were about to go to the store, the phone store, to wait in line to get their phone worked on when they realized the very simple switch that needed to be flipped. And that was leading them to feel unchristian and hateful today. All it was was a little switch, right? I mean, think about back in the day, especially women had life so hard, right? If I had to wear this every day, if I had to be bulky and hot and every square inch of me hidden, I'm sure I'm not covered enough. I'm sure I need to actually work a lot on this costume. This was just the first try. I put it on and I was like, oh, this is funny. <laughs> I should do a live in it, right? <laughs> but really, we have so much to be thankful for. And we don't realize how often in life that all it is is a little mute switch that needs to be changed, that that something like our phone can drive us bananas. And it's we think it's the phone's fault and what's wrong with my phone and my phone's broken and ah! No, it's you. You needed to flip the switch. You needed to take it off mute. There's nothing wrong with your phone, right? So, I look forward to this experience and I look forward to being tested. And, and I just love how that person <laughs> said, I'm not even a Christian. Yesterday driving in the snow, 
I yelled at a lot of people. There were a lot of really bad drivers. And I mean, it was kind of one of those things where I got home and I was like, oh, wow. I was all by myself in the car and I didn't sound like a Christian at all. I was not shining God's light behind the steering wheel. I was yelling and screaming at people. And you know, that's just how our day goes. And that's how God refines us. And that's how we work on ourselves. I had to really think about, wow, I pretty much am terrible behind the wheel. I speed, I do lots of things. Uh, I am like, my driving does not represent who I want to be and should be. And yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Sorry. I, I just, it's just funny looking at myself in this costume. Okay. So Romans, right in the passion translation, which this is a thing that I is working on my pride and my humbleness is I got this compact version, which means the type is really small and I'm 44 and I, I'm, I made an eye appointment finally because it's hard to read this and it's really hard to read it on here. Um, but I highly recommend this passion translation. I I've had quite a few translations of the Bibles and I like them all. Um, but this one is, this one's good. I like this one. Um, Romans 12, I'm pretty sure. No, 3, 21. But now, independently of the law, the righteousness of God is tangible and brought to life through Jesus, the anointed one. This is the righteousness that the scriptures prophesied would come. It is God's righteousness made visible through the faithless faithfulness of Jesus Christ. And now all believe in him receive that gift. For there is really no difference between us. For we all have sinned and are in need of the glory of God. Yet through his powerful declaration of acquittal, God freely gives away his righteousness. His gift of love and favor now cascades over us. All because Jesus, the anointed one, has liberated us from the guilt, punishment, and power of sin. So I kind of stumbled at one point because the part I had memorized is like all we like sheep have gone astray or um, all we have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But I like just how this one says it differently. I like how it just puts it out there nice and plain. For there is really no difference between us for we all have sinned and are in need of the glory of God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lord, help us. Help us to flip the switch on our phones or whatever it is that um, is causing us to act in ways we shouldn't act. To behave in ways we shouldn't behave and say things we shouldn't say and get angry on the road in the snow. Lord, we need you every day and in every way and all the time when we all fall short. We all fall short. Help us to remember that and give others grace and love others better and extend grace to ourselves. It's only through Jesus's example. It's only through his righteousness that any of us are saved. I am not righteous. So Lord, help us to recognize our need for you and our constant need for you and Jesus as our savior um, to shine that light in our lives. Uh, we, we thank you um, that you keep showing us where we need to grow and help us to grow. In your name we pray. Amen.